Streamlabs Best Camera Settings Having great camera settings makes your stream look sharp and professional, keeping your viewers engaged. And in today's video, I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So the only thing that you are going to do really is just enable your camera, just like this one here. All right, there you go. So we have enabled our camera. And as you can see, the camera is actually looking kind of good. So there isn't really much of a change that we can do here. But yeah, please take note that I'm a camera shy. So I'm going to be blurring this one in a way. Uh, you can see my body and everything else except for my face. Um, but yeah, that's how we are going to do it. Let's try this one here. We're going to right click and we're going to open filters. We're going to click this one here. And what we're going to be doing is essentially adding filters. So the only filter that we are going to add is color correction this one here and click add all right so this is where we're going to be doing the magic um as you can see my camera is already okay so there isn't really a lot of changes that i need but um anyway i'm gonna try to show you what these are so for example for the gamma if we are going to increase this one you can see that the camera is somehow washed out and we don't really want that one so we're going to decrease this one and just play with the numbers so again earlier it was zero so let's try to check what will happen if we're going to lower it to zero all right, there you go. So I think 0 0.08, I think, is a good number for me. For the brightness, we can increase this if you have a very dark room. In my case, my room is actually very well lit. I actually have light here at the top of me and also the light in my computer. Uh, it is very light as of the moment. So if I'm going to increase this one, you can see that, yeah, it's kind of like washed out again. We don't really want that one. So you can see the wires here. Um, it's somehow changed. So let's try to reduce this one. Okay, though. Oops. All right, and if you want to have a slight changes, you can just go ahead and click this one here. Okay, so I think I'm satisfied with that. And another thing that I'm going to show you is that if you want to compare it to how it actually was, you can just go ahead and click this one here. So as you can see, so the original one is a little bit lighter. So we're going to change this one. Okay, for the contrast, if you see a lot of like dark shadows, so this is going to be very helpful. And I'm going to show you what it does. All right, as you can see, it turns somehow very dark. So we're going to decrease this one here, uh, but not too much because it will be kind of like washed out. All right, just like there. And then for the hue shift, if you want to say, for example, change some colors, then you can definitely experiment on this one. So for example, like this, if I'm going to increase it too much, you can see that it totally changed. So we're going to decrease this one. Again, earlier it was zero. So this is going to be very helpful if, say, for example, you have like uh, some colors that you think are not really showing very accurate because of the camera filters or because of how the camera is processing the colors. And yeah, you can also do like a little change, like for example, like this. All right, 0 0.4, uh, I think that's going to be okay. For the opacity, just don't really play with this one. Um, it's not really going to be very helpful for you. And let's try to compare it once again. So you can see that in here, it's actually very bright. And there you go. So basically what I did is just decrease a little bit of the brightness. You also have here like visual preset, but I'm not really going to be using that one. Okay, just close this one. And once you're satisfied, you can just go ahead and start streaming. And congratulations, everybody. That is how how you are going to find the best camera settings for your Streamlabs OBS. And by the way, I would highly suggest to upgrade to Streamlabs Ultra to level up your streaming quality and experience. You can save up to $10 of discount right away after clicking on the link in the description box and the comment section below. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if this helps you out.